Hey everybody, Polly is back uh, for some more Let's Play Sentinels the Multiverse, the video game. Last time on Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Wraith, expatriate, and Mr. Fixer go to the worst city in the world and almost lose their lives to save it from Spite, the transhuman serial killer. Surviving only by the virtue of Spite's destructive nature, the billionaire Wraith's love of pollution, and the incredible agility of an 86-year-old auto mechanic. Is that how old he is? <laughs> I think he's 86, yeah. Uh, I think we can check his age. Uh, no, yeah. I don't think we can, because when we were like, hey, uh, how old is uh, Tempest? It didn't say. Uh, well, I can check online. Right, well, uh, he, yeah, check online. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to say, you know, the only reason that we lived in Brook City as long as we did is because Spike kept breaking everything. I thought we'd never go there again. I, I agree. This isn't fun. All right. But we need to think about who we're fighting this time. Who is the monster of the week, day, whatever upload schedule I put this on? Um, how about Omnitron? Let's go back to the difficulty one, guys. I well, contest that Omnitron is not actually difficulty one. All, all the villains have a difficulty level, but Omnitron is actually pretty darn difficult. Yeah, but he I would say he's on par with, you know, Spite in Rook City breaking everything. Yeah, what's Spite's to, 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 yeah. I would actually say, before we do that, let's introduce the Prime Wardens. Um, I don't know who those are very like well. Like Fnatic, so uh, Hakka, uh, Arden Adept, and Tempest. I do like that idea because I have a strange feeling I know what villain you have in mind for this for this demonstration. Well, let's be quick about it before we lose views. Okay, then. So, villain, were you thinking of apostate? I was apostate or Akash Buddha. You could have been right either way. All right, so we have Fnatic, who literally is an angel of God. Yep. She's wearing Templar armor, which is, you know, remarkably designed for the female form. I guess uh, men in the Middle Ages were much more feminine. Arden Adept, who is a support guy who does a lot of uh, um, musical things. You'll see what we mean. He uses, he uses um, he can use a lot more powers than most people can. We have Haka, the Maori warrior. And we have he Tempest, who is an alien from another world. We'll see him again, definitely. Oh, yeah. Tempest is one of our mainstays for anything. For anyone who uses... All right, and for environments, Haka is who we use when we need to stall for achievements because Haka has a very a card that makes him completely hilarious. We'll probably use Haka again when we fight Akash Buddha. Actually, I, I want to test something out, but and then we'll fight in the ruins of Atlantis because it seems kind of appropriate that uh, apostate would go after places of great power. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. By the way, that scar is from uh, Fnatic. She uh, stabbed him. So the story is that he came to her trying to break her faith, which is the source of her power, by telling them that you know she's actually his child or something. Sometimes he calls her sister. Yeah, this uh, yeah convoluted family line. I really don't want to try so, figuring that so out. So what you're saying is that apostate is a fallen angel from Alabama. I was going to say West Virginia, but uh, let's stop insulting people who might be from those states, shall we? Oh. Dude, I'm from Texas. I can make fun of whatever deep south state I want. Alright, so apostate's power. We forgot to actually do this. Alright, let's go ahead and go into that real quick. So, at the start of the game, apostate enters play Infernal Emissary side out. Condemnation, which is his sword, is put into play. Um... When apostate would be destroyed, and there is a villain relic in play, the villain relic with the lowest HP is destroyed instead. An apostate's villain character card flips to the dark corruptor side. Ooh. At the end of the, so in other words, the damage is stopped. So if he's at six health and you do six damage, it's stopped. If he's at twenty health and you do twenty damage, it's stopped. At the end of the villain turn, apostate deals the hero target with the highest HP, two melee damage and two infernal damage. Condemnation does three to the highest HP. And this card, whenever a villain, whenever a player draws a hero card, play the top card of the villain deck. Which is frustrating. I'm assuming his highest health. Let's get to Haka. He likes taking damage. Yeah, Haka kinda... has the most health of any hero in the 
the game. Haka has more health than some villains. Although the villains he has more health than usually have like serious gimmicks. Like Iron Legacy, who is super difficult. Actually, anyway. I was thinking of someone who's actually in the video game, who we're probably going to be saving for a lot later. The chairman only has 35. That's true, he does. But Ahaka has 34. I thought he had more. No, he had 34. Anyway, so Fnatic is actually really good if you get her to have um, bonus damage. Because the way this mechanic works, one melee and one radiant damage, is it applies to both that, so it becomes two melee and two radiant damage. It's like two attacks back to back. Right. So she like she makes force multipliers really strong. All right, so let's go with Absolution, though. That would normally heal her, but she's at max health. Its power lets her select a damage type, melee, fire, or radiant, and then deals one, dam one target, three damage to that type. The reason I want to do that, let's go with Radiant because she's an angel, is to get rid of this. Whenever a player draws a hero card, play the top card of the villain deck. When this card is destroyed, we put uh, Condemnation back in play. So, yeah, we just we want to get rid of this. Um, it's an annoying card. Anyway, this is a fun ability, but it takes some, some using. She hurts herself for up to 5 radiant damage, and then deals however much radiant damage she took this turn. Alright, so, here's one of the effects of uh, the things that our Nadept has. Rhythm and harmony cards. They're, they're songs, and you have perform and accompany effects. Now, you'll notice this, it says activate a perform text. So he can use multiple effects over and over again, so long as he's got the right, um, the right instruments to play the right accompany or perform effects. We're gonna start off with Arcane Cadence, reveal five cards, put one on top of the deck, one in your hand, one at the bottom of the deck, one in the discard, and one in play. It's uh, that is such a fantastic card. It, you know, it's it's really only an okay card, but it's satisfying to use, and it gives you a lot of control over what's going on. Do I have a harmony card or harmony card available? I do, but I don't like using it. Yeah, you, know, you have. Actually, it might be good in a pinch though if Orb of Delirium comes out. Yeah. But let's go with. Um... Hmm. This is actually kind of a tough call. Well. Well, you, while you dwell on that, I'm going to need to go attend to a thing. I shall. All right. I, this one is not that great of a card. You know, plus one, one fire damage and one cold damage. I mean, he's got so many better effects. But let's think about this. Um, all right, we'll put it into play. Or no, we'll put, we'll put this into hand. Um... Put this on top of the deck, even though actually no, put this on top of the deck. Eh. It's not gonna matter in a moment because I'm gonna use this card to get an instrument in play, and then it's gonna destroy it's gonna shuffle the deck, and then uh I'll draw a card. Right bottom of the deck, and I just I just don't like this card, so we're just gonna trash it. And we'll search the deck for We'll go for Drake's pipes. Um probably see why in a moment. Yeah, this is why. Melodies, they only have a perform a text, and Drake's Pipes lets me play two of them. And so I'm not going to have a power this turn, but, you know, that'll be fine. And It'll I be fine, I promise. Ugh. Welcome back! Hey. Oh, nice. Alright, so, again, armor first, and Haka deals two damage with Smash. Kapowsk! As a, uh... Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! We have the fun thing! We have the fun thing! <laughs> Our turns, characterization turns Haka of Haka is going to change to completely. <laughs> well, we just said the same... I think we just said pretty much the same thing over yep. each other. All right. But, uh... Anyway, I was I had a thought, and then we Savage Mana came out, and now I want to finish my thought. Alternative play that I would have done is, uh... I like getting card draw out first, and the, um... I call it the Maraca. Joey can pronounce what it actually is. The Mere Club. It's not that hard. M E R E. <laughs> well, anyway. anyway, it lets him, it basically lets him do you know crush, but he draws a card after. Right. It, you know, it really comes down to preference. So here's a fun card. Into the Stratosphere. Select one non-indestructible villain card, other than a character card. Put it on top of the villain deck. 
So we're going to shut his deck down a little bit by doing this. Yeah, I, uh, amusing thought. So he I just wonder... throws it through apostate up into the stratosphere. Uh, amusing thought. I imagine that it used to not say non-indestructible at one point in game's early development. Ha! And then, like, wait a minute. Dude, he's cheesing spite with this. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Alright, so we got to discard a card. Uh, Chastise is bad. Um, Polyphoric Flare is bad. So this is for, so it increases healing and damage dealt by uh, one. And that would be great, and I'd be loving to keep that. Except that we have to discard a bunch of cards. I don't like yeah. that. Alright, that's a matter. And we'll get rid of this because we really don't need it. It's four damage, yeah. Uh, I mean, it was vicious Cyclone takes too much setup that we don't have. I was thinking Shielding Winds. That doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Mm, good point. Uh, oh, but it's the Kraken. And Vicious Cyclone. There's another one in the deck. Yeah. This is gonna deal a bunch of damage. Condemnation is back. Ow. Ow. Apostate Nemesis and Phosphorus in Chamber. See, Tameoko just saved the day. Yep. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and play Aegis of Resurrection. So if she were to die, she instead uh, revives. With ten hit points. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna deal some damage. See, now it's like it's much better to do the thing that gets six damage rather than five. Oh, yep. nice. All right, and Jason, look which card I got. Mm, that was fortuitous. It was fortuitous. Because Whoa! I'm sorry, they probably didn't hear you over um over him singing. You said screw wow. phosphorescent chamber, right? Yep. Screw so phosphorescent chamber. This lets us destroy um, any ongoing environment or, or any ongoing or environment card. Let's we'll just go with that. I love that expression. He's just like, whatever. I am not impressed. Not a single crap is given. All right, so we'll play the mere first. Because you're right, draw power. And then we're going to get Savage Mana. Savage Mana, when he destroys a card, it goes underneath Savage Mana. In other, instead of the discard pile, which is really good against villains who access their discard pile a lot. Which is to say, that's pretty much most of them, except Spite uh, doesn't ac access his discard pile that often. Yeah. Um, Spite is literally the only one that's coming to mind. Like, everyone else either has, like, their giant oh crap card that involves their trash, or they have a constant effect that involves their trash. Right. Apostate is the former of the bunch, one of his big oh crap cards. The the Relic Spirit. Several right. of his big oh crap Players cards. Players do not play hero cards. Increase all lightning damage by two. Oh no. That's annoying, Wait, Apostate. But... Yeah, Apostate doesn't even do lightning damage. It's annoying because we would be able to play cards, but, you know, fortunately aren't at it. So this one, um... Also, this is a reference to a song. I forget which one. But Apostate deals each hero target three infernal damage. Each villain relic regains five hit points. So they didn't deal damage to the, uh, the relic, then. Yep. Oh, yeah. This card reduces damage dealt by one. Or taken by one. All right. It's a good one. Yeah, it is. Lots of heroes have cards like that, and they're usually all pretty good. They're certainly better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how far minus one will go. All right, so I can't play anything. But I can still deal... Well, let's actually let's start hurting Condemnation. Yeah, we gotta soften that up. Burn the witch! Burn the witch, butter! She turned me into a noob, she did. I got better. I love that. I love Absolution. I wish she could dual wield Absolution. That would be amazing. Yeah, but that kind of defeats Whoa! the purpose of a singular. That kind of defeats the purpose of a singular named weapon. Good point. All right, leaking room is gone. All right, but we've got a lot of cards that I need to play. Yep. All right, Savage Mana. Ah, uh, Savage Mana. You, you you make so many things so so, so cool. silly. 
Oh, Dominion is a great card. Whenever an environment card is destroyed, Haka draws a card. Let's uh, Lightning Slash. Because we gotta get rid of Condemnation anyway. And we might as well eventually reduce the kind of damage he's dealing. Ooh. That's basically... Oh, we never went into... Uh... So Tempest's base power is that he deals all non-hero targets one projectile damage, which is really good! Oh, yeah. Not necessarily against this guy, apostate. But this one, all non-hero targets um, or take, take two damage. Yep. It's, it's pretty darn good. Okay, so Atlantean Font of Power. At the end of the environment <laughs> turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Then play the top card of each hero deck in turn order. If the played card is a limited card already in play, discard that card and play the next card. So this can be really good, or it can be really bad. We're about to find out. Let's see. Oh, End of days! That uh, needs to go. Yeah, we, we that's going to hurt us. Oh, more shoot. Is that actually going to... Is that going to proc? No, because... Uh, okay, so End of days is a really great card in some circumstances. The start of the environment turn, destroy all cards in play other than this card, character cards, and relics. Relics are like apostates' weapons, um, or... Um, or the thing, or, or the thing that Fnatic uses. I'm actually gonna do this one. Yeah. Because I can use uh, what is it? The final dive to destroy the periapt. Yep. And the periapt isn't like so bad that we can't. Anyway. We can't deal with it when it comes back. Oh. Oh, well that's two things we need to get rid of in a big hurry. Yep. I have ball lightning though. Yep. Do it do I have I do have ball lightning in hand, right? Alright, so I can get rid of them both with that then. Yep. What were the other well, cards that were played? Uh, uh he played some manner he played lightning slash. Lightning slash. Haka got uh his his Enduring Intercession, redirect any damage dealt to a hero by an environment card. And Arden Adept got... Oh, nice! Syncopated Onslaught. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's Final Dive. Final Dive is a fun card. Destroy a target with four or fewer health. Fnatic then deals one target that much health uh, damage. So, she basically is picking up this Periapt and throwing it in uh, Apostate's face. With enough force so as to break them both. Right. <laughs> yes. Sadly, she had no damage. She didn't have another damage boost. But, but we do now. Alright, so that's yep. a rhythm. I don't have anything else to play for rhythm cards, unfortunately. Yeah. But that... I'm still gonna... I'm still gonna use it. Whoa! I think Fnatic and Haka? Yeah, Haka. Ha Haka has the distinct advantage of needing to start stuffing things into his sack of goodies. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. All right, so Haka play... has gone from invulnerable Maui warrior to kleptomaniac nutbag in <laughs> one card, and I love it. And with that smile, don't you see it? <laughs> He's gone from proud warrior to shank villain in one card. <laughs> Yoink. This is the other thing that Haka does, is he has these Hakas, lets him draw cards and then discard them for bonus effects. Really, it's more damage, less take less damage, or uh, heal. Alright, we're going to play Ball Lightning. Apostate's going to take four damage. And... We're going to destroy Apocalypse, which is basically End of Days, but, you know, Apostate's version. Yeah. And we're going to destroy End of Days, so all of our stuff doesn't get ruined. Yeah. That went really well. End of, day, yeah, end of Days tends to be better because, this, well, it comes right before the environment turn, so if you actually need to play End of Days, End of Days will save your ass. <laughs> Mystical Defenses. The start of the turn deals each non-environment card two energy damage. 
End of turn. Oh yeah. I say start. You said start. Oh, Huck is taking a bunch of damage from that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Profane summons. This is where he starts getting annoying. Yeah, this is one of his oh crap cards. So he gets the Gauntlet Perdition. So he's he's getting four uh, four relic cards. Runes of Malediction, which reduce all relic damage by two. And Orb of Delirium, which takes all the damage back. Alright, so who has the highest hit points? He does. So he's going to take much less. The Gun of Perdition, whenever a apostate deals melee damage, he then deals one uh, other type of damage. Alright, let's do Smite the Transgressor. Let's, let's lay down some hurt. So Smite the Transgressor lets me deal two melee damage to a target, which is four because of the Nemesis and Syncopated Onslaught. And now I can use an extra power this turn. Here's six damage. And another five for good measure. And another five. Fnatic is all about maximizing bonuses to damage. Yep. A properly set up Fnatic can deal it 12 would damage not be attack. It wouldn't be unreasonable for a, for a properly set up Fnatic with the correct one shots to do like 50 damage in a single turn. Yeah, no, I've seen it. Alright, one hero other than me might play a card now. Hmm. Do we have. What can we play that would be good for that? I kind of want to play Silver Shadow and Company Text and then draw or play a card. Just trying to think of what one to do. We need to start softening up that orb so we can steal it! I could just destroy it with this. Sadistic, sadistic Dissonant. I can never pronounce that. Destroy an instrument if you do destroy any one card in play other than a character card. Well. Alright, let's get in a company uh, out first. Let me play a card. Who do we want to have play a card? Um, yeah, actually, you know what? We're going to do this. But we still need to figure out who's going to play a card. Oh, actually. So, Silver Shadow lets me activate in a company text. And this will let me let another player play a card. Um, let's do Fnatic. Okay. She's going to do Brutal Censure, two Radiant Damage, and she can draw a card. She's not going to get the plus one from... Uh, oh, that's a, ni that's a nice card. <gasps> that is a nice one. I like that And then one. we're going to play a card. And it's going to let me play Mystic Dissonant. Then we're going to vocalize. Whoa. Whoa. And we're going to destroy Drake's Ow. pipes to destroy this. Not the orb? No. Because when... Uh, so we're going to be dealing a bunch of damage to the orb. This will just be reducing the damage the orb will take. Good point. Also, I like to imagine that instead of him using some magical spell and sacrificing his pipes to cast it, he just went over and broke the runes of malediction by smacking it with his pipes. And see, now I can get the pipes right back. I don't think I will, but... No, so we're going to play Elbow Smash. Elbow Smash is a good one. I like Elbow Smash. Deal damage to the pipes. And we're going to hit with a Mary. Punish the weak. Increases damage against the target with the lowest health and decreases damage with the highest health. And then isolated hurricane. Let's me dis uh, deal to two targets, three projectile damage. I may draw two cards. The reason his other ability is to destroy it is because while he has localized hurricane out, he takes more damage. Small price to pay for being able to do six damage a turn and draw three and draw two extra cards. Right. It's a really good card. 
The Kraken. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals a non-environment target with the lowest HP. Five melee damage. Oh, this is nice. So watch this. Orb is destroyed. Haka absorbs the damage for everyone. And then the Kraken destroys the glove. <laughs> Thank you, Atlantis. We didn't get to steal oh, as much no. as I would. but we don't really need to. I vote we just kill the guy. Yeah, no, I'm thinking that too. Oh, wait, no. If we kill him while he has relics out, he'll come back. Well, that's fine. I'm okay with people seeing that. All right, let's, I however, get rid of the mystical defenses. Yeah, they're tearing Hakka apart. Oh, my God. Like, Kraken is not nice, but... No, the Kraken's fine. Oh, well, he's kind of a jerk. Stop down damage. Not gonna soften up the relics with, with uh... I probably should've. Yeah. Oh, well. Exorcism is better if you have boosts, but if you're going into damage penalties, that's why you have absolution. Yeah, I know. I would have used absolution if I was going to soften it up. I just forgot. I was explaining to the viewers. Oh, okay. Don't tell me it's a pretty game. Um, let's see. You got a bunch of harmonies. Uh, what's the horn do? Uh, melody and a harmony. Uh, well, melody and a harmony accompaniment. I think I'm going to play this one. Search my deck for this. Oh Seems man! Well. I got Telemann's I... Lyra, so this lets me use a rhythm, and then either a rhythm or a harmony. Right. So I think we're gonna go with increased damage for Fanatic and for Haka. Now I'm now I'm just imagining a grown man just wailing on a, a just like rocking out on a on a cowbell and <laughs> You mean like Christopher Walken? Yes. Well I'll see what Haka has. Um He's got punishing the weak. He doesn't but... punish the weak. I'm not sure punish the weak would be ideal, but it's certainly fun. I'm actually thinking. I'm actually thinking of giving a tempest so that we can get reclaimed or reclaimed from the deep. Each hero may put, take a card from their trash and put it on top of their deck. Then you may draw a card. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Or. How many cards does Haka have in hand? Nine? Alright, no, let's let's do Haka. I'm gonna play Haka of Battle. So he draws two cards and then discards one or more. Yeah, so the Hakas are great for both draw power. Ooh, is that Rampage? That is Ram like I'm not Rampage. doing Rampage when he's buffed by Haka of Battle. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Let's kill actually, the entire only, team. Actually, it only applies to a single hit. I, I know from experience. Ah. I wish it applied to multiple hits. That would make the uh, other stick. Be the Tayaha. Tayaha. Better. Shielding. Obsession. Uh, that's probably way more than I needed to discard. Oh yeah. Still, there's nothing quite like giant numbers. Yeah. Yes, it does. Boosh. Savage mana. We we have stolen his obelisk. And put it in a sack. Put it right, in a let's reclaim from the deep. Fanatic will take. Um, 
Yeah. Or nine ups. We'll take this, because this is a fantastic card. We'll take for Haka. Haka of Battle. Haka of Battle is fantastic, I do approve. And just to be safe, Ball of Lightning. Yeah. Always want to have a way to kill ongoing. Because if you don't, you usually get screwed. Stratosphere. <laughs> so many cards. I think we win this next turn. And appropriately, Fanatic's the one who gets to do it. Uh, oh. No, we don't win this turn. Which means no, Hustle no, might I get think a we still do. I might get a chance to break out the snake. Uh, I think we, we still do. Nope. Well. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and see him flip, right? Yeah, we gotta see him flip. I can't play anything anyway. Yeah. Let's see, nothing's reducing damage, so... It's, we'll just stab him. Absolution! See, now he's flipped. So, in this state, we're turning to 20 hit points, so I really shouldn't have let him flip, but whatever. Uh, when it possibly be reduced to zero or fewer hit points, there's a villain relic in play. A villain relic with the highest HP this time is destroyed, and he's flipped to the other side. Right now he's a dark crafter. The end of the villain turn, Apostate deals a hero target the lowest HP, two melee damage, and then regains six hit points. You, yeah. that ain't good. All right. So we're gonna destroy Roll. this. So I was hoping to draw a card, Ooh, and I think now is the that. time to use uh, Savage Mana. Well, that would be four damage. Yeah, it wouldn't be Let's that do it. much. So he draws two cards. Savage mana, vitality surge. And we'll discard everything. I think everything. Apostate wants his stuff back. Let's give it to him. <laughs> I love this card so much. This isn't even the best use of it, but it's. But I, I have this amazing mental image of a giant man with a giant leather bag full of all kinds of demonic relics and, <laughs> and un demons. Unconscious, unconscious demons just sauntering up to the apostate and blackjacking him so hard the bag breaks. So Gene Bound Shackles increases uh, Tempest damage against the highest hit point target by two. Yep. So that's a good card. So he didn't die this turn, but... No, I think he does die. Nope, not quite. Just... He dies. <laughs> okay. Unleash the Kraken! Snack. What an embarrassing way to go. He doesn't even have a name. Yeah, man, I'd hide in my head in shame, too. Oh, man. <laughs> 12, 12, 12, 16, a combo breaker. God, <laughs> Tempest, have to be your special snowflake. Yes. Alright guys, this has been fun. I think we did pretty well here, all things considered. Uh, let's be honest, Pulsate is not one of the harder villains. You'll start seeing some really difficult villains. Um, when we start playing like Grand Warlord Voss or the Matriarch or Citizen Dawn. For now, we're kind of doing introductory and ex exhibition style play. So... You know, expect, expect to see some challenge ramp up run now. Uh, thanks all for watching, and we'll definitely, we're about to do another recording, so we'll see you guys for the next episode. See you later.